You're listening to Oral Stories. From Oral Stories, Up a River, Episode 7, Black Forest. I thought you were retiring. You don't understand. This is the Nile. That is over half a world away. In fact, it's just less than 2,000 miles from here, if you fly. Closer to 3,000 if you drive and take the ferry. Oh, now you're into facts. Here's a fact. Love is a lie. Attention passengers, the bus is here and we're ready to spend the day on an exciting adventure in the Black Forest. Where Adeline and Abelard fought rodents of unusual size in the fire swamp. That was in The Princess Bride. The Black Forest is where Adeline and Abelard get separated and Adeline communes with the forest spirits. How did you two get in here? It's day eight. We're getting real comfortable. Okay, no, you two get out. No! Everyone else who understands appropriate social boundaries, please remember we'll be gone all day, so bring some warm clothes, good snacks, and your best fanny packs. We're going on an adventure! Ugh, now I'm late because I wasted so much time trying to talk sense into a man. I don't understand. I thought you'd be excited. Well, I'm not. Goodbye! I'm just going to the Black Forest. I'm not leaving forever. Thank you for telling me. Still practicing being mad. I gotta light my load and make way for black forest cake. I love it. Goodbye sweaters, sunscreen. Ooh, gummies. We'll bring you just in case. Supposed to help car sickness. Hmm, sure. Okay. I'm empty so I can bring home at least half a pan. You know you can get that cake anywhere, right? Great. Even the cake is a lie. Please lock the door on your way out. Thank you. Welcome. Watch your step. Ooh, cute passport belt. Good morning, Lisa. Hi, Dan. Hey, Lisa, sorry I fell asleep on the bus yesterday. You want to come sit? I'd rather sit next to here if Lugendorf was a dirty wheelbarrow after Adelaide and Abelard got done using it. Are you mad at me? Did something happen? You know what you did. Ooh, fight. Mm, We get a tour and a show. Come on, Lisa, talk to me. I genuinely have no idea what's going on. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of that going around lately. Can you explain it to me? Please, I really want to know. Can't talk listening to the lies of your words. What does that even mean? It means I'm listening to the Hero and Heroine audiobook and actively not listening to you. So if anything big happens, just tap me on the shoulder. I knew it being angry. Thank you. And now, back to the hero and the heroine, the king's bratwurst. And after three months of partaking of the earthly delights of each other's bodies, Adeline and Abelard found themselves on the edge of the Black Forest. Oh, Abelard, it's so dark. Oh, Adeline, it's so deep. (laughs) But Abelard... How will we ever get through it? I will leave you. What? To scout ahead. No. I must protect you and our love. But how can I be without you when I only just now discovered your juicy Yule log? I too yearn to drink again of your waters. But if we are to survive, I must go into the forest, not drink of your sweet waters. And if you die? Then you will live the rest of your years sexless, miserable, and alone. Now wait here. I'll be back soon. Or not. But whatever you do, don't go anywhere. What? Abelard, you actually left? Without the horse? (laughs) You're right, Jurgen. Let's explore the forest in the other direction where Abelard clearly said we should not go. This paperwork is a mess. Who brought a soda to the bridge? Has anyone even calibrated this radar? Good morning, sir. I brought your favorite muffins. Fuck muffins. Wow, that is an intense feeling about muffins. Why is love so hard? Good question, sir. 
maybe you could sit down, up your blood sugar with some tasty breakfast carbs, and um, unpack that for me. Central Command gifted me two tickets to a cruise on the Nile. Oh, is that why they called? I assumed we had a secret spy on board. So, I asked passenger Cathcart to come with me, and she yelled and stormed off. Without her sunscreen. Hmm, that doesn't sound like passenger Cathcart. She is very fastidious about skincare. How did you phrase it, sir? Hmm? I said, I'm not done. I'm going on the Nile. So, you gave no context to a woman you've known for a week and who was under the impression that you were available and who knows that you captain cruises for a living, that you were going to Egypt for a cruise and expected her to intuit that you were inviting her to go on a vacation and not letting her know about a new job posting? Sir? Oh. Freaking Pharaoh. Indeed, sir. I need to clear things up with Lisa. Leave me first, mate. I'll send for you when we begin our approach to Basel. Yes, sir. Also, um, unfuck the muffins. Thank you, sir. Okay, everyone, we're breaking up into groups. I'll take the bird watchers and the nature enthusiasts. And I'm taking the hero and heroine fans. Lisa? Aren't you coming? I'm just going to hang out by the bus. But the Black Forest isn't even real. It's made up, just like love. But there aren't even trees in there. Uh, You can see the trees. They're right there. I said I'm new at being angry. Cut me a break. Okay, Lisa, just don't go too far. There's some pretty weird animals in there. Last time I was here, a woodpecker almost got my hairpiece. If I had one. This whole thing is stupid. Everything is crunchy and dirty. Who even gets lost in a forest? Just call a lift, am I right? Ugh, everyone who would enjoy that joke is gone. Okay, enough with looking at some dumb forest and get to the good part. Eating slash smuggling cake. Mama's hungry. Although that one tree does look like my cat Jurgen. I should go take a picture of it for his Christmas card. Okay, everybody, get close. It's getting cold and my voice is still torn up from the club. Is that from when you yelled at Lisa? Is that why she's so mad at you? I heard it was because one was hooking up with the captain and the other one was hooking up with the cruise director. I heard one took the other's cake at the dessert bar and didn't even eat it. You know what? It's no one's business if Lisa is mad at me or not. Unless you write it in your next book. Oh, maybe she'll be a witch. She's not going to be in any books because there aren't going to be any more books. Only movies? I'm okay with that. No. I'm done with my marriage. I'm done with Adeline and Abelard and all of it. I'm a real person with a real life and real problems. And I need a real friend. I need Lisa. She probably needs you. She's pretty bummed about Captain Dalton. What happened with Captain Dalton? I don't know for sure, but I may have heard him telling her he was leaving for the Nile when I was eavesdropping outside of her cabin. Oh no, this is all my fault. I have to find her. Lisa! Want to do shrooms and see if we can find any truffles? Definitely. Black Forest, my hiney. These trees are green, just like everywhere else. Just another thing Candace lied about. Look at that one. It looks just like the tree I saw 15 minutes ago. Hey, Dan, look at this silly tree. Dan? Oh, yeah, I came in here on my own, which is too bad because I am definitely lost. Mr. Tree, I'm sorry I insulted you. Do you happen to know where Dan or the bus or anyone is? Guten Tag, everyone. Willkommen back from your adventure. Guten Tag, cruise director Dan. I'll just do a quick head count and then we can be on our way to cake. Cake, 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 cake. cake, cake. 45, 46, 47. Who are we missing? 
Hey, best friend and sometimes enabler Dan. Have you seen Lisa? She's not on the bus. She's not? No, and I really need to talk to her. Can you hold on just a minute? Calling first mate Tegan, over. Go for first mate Tegan. So I have some bad news for you. Ah, Dan, you are doing so well. Passenger Cathcart assured me she would stay by the bus. They never stay by the bus. I know! You lost Lisa? We have to look for her. No, don't run into the... First mate Tegan, we have an update on the amount of passengers lost. Sir, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Uh, the bus is about to return from the Black Forest, and it is two passengers short. Mm. You know the protocol, first mate. No holding the ship. We'll leave without them. It's Candace and Lisa, sir. Lisa? Dan says she's lost in the forest, sir. Drop anchor. I'm not leaving her out there alone. Sir? Congrats, Captain Tegan. Your promotion came through early. The ship is in your hands now. I've got a girl to save. We're almost to port. You could have docked. No time to talk. I've got to save the woman I love. Captain Tegan. I like the sound of that. You've been listening to Upper River by Oral Stories, written and directed by Danielle Evenson and Heather Huntington, produced by Camille Johnson, executive produced by Inia Fong. Characters were brought to life by Denise Moses, Laura House, D. Elliot Woods, Mega Nabe, John Luce, Andy Enninger, Lauren Blumenfeld, Toby Windham, Daryl Deegan, Jay Pichardo, and Heather Huntington. Music composed by John Ruder, Sound design and editing by Alexa Ruvalcaba and recorded at Shane Salk Productions in Hollywood. Like and subscribe on your favorite podcast app or visit us at oralstories.com. Check out Bonnie Screws Up and Fast Track to 40, also from Oral Stories. <laughs>